Hello, I'm Daniel Lelouch. I'm very happy to be with you today along this IBP series presenting IBP software from SAP. We are currently at IBP What Is It? episode. And let's see the detail of the series. How is it organized? The IBP series is made of season. The first one will be the overview to discover globally what is IBP software from SAP. Then we will focus on IBP demand, then IBP supply, then IBP SNOP. Then we'll also discover some details about the user interface and Excel. Then we will go into the integration topics, linking together S4 and IBP. Lately, we'll go to the response and supply, the response part of the supply. And also at the end, let's discover some reporting options. And you know what? Should you have any further topics that you would like us to address, just let us know. We can organize additional episodes and even additional season, if so. Let's get to the content now. What is IBP, by the way? This is a software series developed by SAP that covers all the supply chain planning processes. As marked here on the screen, we can see here that IBP covers SNOP, Sales and Operation Planning, Demand Planning, the Distribution Requirement Planning, where you want to propagate into your supply chain network your requirements. Then also you can calculate inventory planning, in other words, safety stock. In IBP, you can also calculate your master production schedule. And depending the case, you can also do a little bit of MRP, depends the customer implementation, by the way. The response modules that covers how can you map your short-term demand with the current supply that you have planned with the other processes here shown on the screen. IBP focuses on strategic horizon, tactical horizon, and a little bit of operational horizon. IBP is presented within two skins. The first skin is the Fury one here, as we can see, where the user is capable to perform actions like analytics, dashboarding, expedite supply chain issues with the alert management, maintain the forecast model, and, and so on and so forth. There is many ties, a ties being one of these little blocks. So the Fury Launchpad is made of many ties. And on the other end, IBP is also available in Excel, where from Excel, the planner is proposed to manage the data themselves, uh, maintain the data, and also run one of the, the, the many operators like forecast, like heuristics, like optimizer as well. Dashboard for IVP, this is a way for you to combine together several analytics. If now I go and select only my favorites, and out of my favorite, I'm using one of the dashboard designed by Vincent to support the SNOP supply review. It's just an example. And in this dashboard, we see that are combined together four different analytics. We can combine in dashboards either analytics, supply chain networks, alerts, and also uh, process definition, for instance. Here it's only analytics presentation. Let's now focus on the other user interface proposed by IBP, made of Excel. Open Excel, and as you can see, this SAP IBP is currently available in my Excel due to the SAP IBP add-in for Excel that allows me now to connect IBP from Excel and retrieve data from the SAP Cloud database of the IBP into Excel, and then from there, calculate, change, and return that to IBP. How do I do? I need to connect. Systems is checking that I am allowed to connect this environment, database, and Excel. So the usual uh, way you do is you call data using a template, a layout definition. Let's say, for instance, in my case, I wish to, to focus on historical data cleansing. OK. The, the view is made of different elements, but that's not the, the topic for today. And let me just filter out what I want to see for family 100 of my products. Now, in real time, the data are brought back from the SAP Cloud HANA database of IBP directly into Excel, shown here, with potentially even graphics sections. From this Excel add-in, you can control the data flow going uh, and returning to IBP. Okay, saving data back to IBP. You can run simulations. 
Simul many simulations, different simulations, forecast simulation, heuristic simulation, plenty, plenty, honestly. You can also focus on some alerts organized in dashboard. You can display and uh, manage master data already from IBP Excel. Then you can also create scenario, manage scenarios, manage versions of your data, schedule the jobs that are part of the IBP proposition, many jobs. Okay, copy, forecast, uh, optimizer, and so on. Then you, you may be assigned with task in IBP, a task, a regular task according to your different uh, process where you are involved. So you do something uh, like here. So I want to change these three values, for instance, in the end, save back to IBP. So obviously, Excel is used as a front end only, and data are not stored in Excel. If you save data in Excel, this is a local file, but no link anymore with the IBP database. So whenever we work with Excel on IBP, we read data from IBP and we save data into IBP before leaving Excel. If you want to discover IBP, one of the main advice I can give you is to, na to navigate like here, you see, navigate to SAP IBP, IBP main page. Take the record of this uh, of this URL. It's it's a gold URL because you can discover anything about IBP uh, from this uh, platform delivered by SAP. It's a public platform where you can discover uh, what's the, what's the roadmap, what's what's coming in with IBP, what are the different uh, product overview, discover elements, and what's new. Uh, how to implement with the configuration guide, the sizing guide, the best practice, explorer, the scope of, and so on and so forth. Even to integrate so the different scenario, how to integrate IBP with the other SAP component. Very interesting. So everything is accessible from this IBP main page. Think of it. It's really a good advice I can give you today. Let me also share this important material that we propose at Camelot from our website with the pictures insights as well as the Camelot blog where you will find here for instance many of the articles that we have written this is it for today thanks for your attention should you have any questions or proposition please use the comments in LinkedIn